this is a part that we tested originally from NASA. BYU mechanical engineering students are used to being on the cutting edge of technology. We've worked with NASA, Boeing, Spirit, Northrop Grumman, some of the aerospace groups in that standpoint. We've also worked with automotive groups in the past like GM and Toyota to be able to implement these processes in various different ways. Associate Professor of Manufacturing Engineering, Dr. Yuri Hovansky, says what's getting them attention now with Toyota is a new way to bond aluminum. It's called refill friction stir spot welding. This really has kind of a twofold benefit. A, the process is going to be a little more efficient and B, you're going to be used different, be able to use different lighter weight materials on cars. Is that right? You're, you're spot on there, both from the energy standpoint and from the material enabling standpoint. And this allows us to use materials that were very difficult for us to use before, and at the same time has a significant lower impact from an environmental standpoint. This process helps me to mandate that the auto industry not only make their vehicles more efficient, but make the manufacturing process cleaner. We dropped it for Toyota down to a 250 milliseconds. This type of spot welding that students are developing and researching uses 40 times less energy, emits fewer emissions, and creates welds that are 10 times stronger. We do a lot of evaluation of the welds afterwards. We do CT scanning, tensile testing, fatigue testing. We test the hardness of the inside of the welds so that we can really see what's going on. What about this interests you? I really love seeing the application of what I learn in the classroom. I can go to class and run all the equations and learn about the theory, but this is where it actually matters. And that's why I'm studying engineering in the first place, is to use it for something that matters. These BYU engineering students are getting real world experience with major manufacturers before they even graduate. Ford uses that, GM uses it. Not only does it give them a leg up in the job force, they're also finding real world solutions to current production problems. This process does not melt the aluminum at all. It leaves it in a, in a solid state. It shows the impact that even students can have that we can research, we can make a difference in the world by finding these kinds of technologies and ways to apply them. And there we have the welds, air so usually you would.